What is going on guys? My name is Peter Bree and welcome back to another video. And today we want to take a look at something I made recently in stream. And well it turned out pretty cool. And that is this thing. And well, for those who did not see the stream and who didn't see it at YouTube, I uh, yeah I had to take it down because it was just way too annoying with all the copyright strikes I uh, was getting with all the music I was playing. Didn't really think that one through, but um, yeah, basically, I wanted to try and make my own um, mobile base again after I spotlighted the the other one the other day with, with uh, Jay. And yeah, this is what I came up with. It sorta, sorta is like an um, uh, landing carrier aircraft thingy, midoodler. Like you've got a runway over here, and uh, you've got the the bridge offset to one side and all that stuff. And um, yeah, that that's basically the main inspiration from the top deck. But down below, that's where the magic happens, basically. And yeah, you probably already have seen this monstrosity. And this basically is one big giant drilling arm, which is in multiplayer not that stable, I found out the hard way, basically. And I think in single player, well, it was stable. I haven't tested it out anymore since. Uh, yeah, I tested it in multiplayer, but basically this thing it rotates up. That's why there is this hole in the ceiling, and then uh, it locks down at the same time. Uh, starts drilling, extends the pistons all the way at the speed uh, which the drills are capable of handling, and then when it's full, or when it's fully extended, I mean, it comes back, uh, still drilling, and then uh, yeah, folds back down like it is right now. So, uh, and, and while it's doing that, this thing will automatically pull everything out of the drills, so they won't bang up and down uh, when they are uh, tucked back like they are now. Uh, yeah, but basically, the way you normally would get in this ship, because this thing is pretty big, and you know, you're no usually don't want to use your uh, your hydrogen or your jetpack. I mean all the times just because of the fact that survival you don't want to use it all the times and I thought of that so down here you've got this button you can press and and this thing comes down this is on both sides like a little lift and they're not very fast so I'm not going to bother using them now but basically you can or stand in there and actually uh, reach those things which then tells you to go up and all that stuff and now I'm still actually using this thing well whatever so this brings you all the way up to the yeah to this area where you can just open the door close the door and then walk in awesome right and of course you've got the option to lower and uh, raise the lift up here uh, on the inside too and then yeah either then basically the main drill there's not much here except for maybe uh, the refinery some cargo on either side um yeah if we go either up these stairs on the side you'll find a door here and this door just leads to a very 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 small uh yeah hangar bay if you would say it um yeah it's not really practical because it's not that deep so but I think you could probably park in at least one ship, maybe two if you park them like facing that way. I don't know, it's not big, but you know, it's not meant to be uh, carrying like loads of stuff in here. Mainly, it uh, should carry atop, on top of that thing there. And yeah, that's, that's why. Of course, it has these doors. Uh, in theory, that area is actually pressurized. So, uh, yeah, if you're on an alien planet, you could pressurize this. I haven't put an oxygen vent in, but theory, you could. Um, yeah, let's go up. 
so you've got this uh, awesome walkway going around you can't actually go there because uh, at that point because of course the pipe is going through it couldn't find any other way of doing it like logically because it was kind of hard uh, to actually fit it in there uh, that, that sorting conveyor um, yeah you just got a nice view down onto the actual drill bit arm thing and now we can go up to well this kind of useless in-between layer which uh, then you let gives you access to the uh, reactors on both sides you can go into the hangar thing the door watch over basically the small hangar and then if we go up here we come to well maybe the brains of this day of this whole uh, ship these five actually four timers uh, control the uh, the drill down there and the last one I actually can't remember what they control right now I did do something with it but oh well we'll see and uh, yeah of course you got your map bay over here neatly tucked away into the wall of course hooked up with conveyors so oxygen and all that stuff it is in there and um, yeah on this side we've got uh, some pipes going up to the the, the landing deck because above us this is the landing deck and, 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 and yeah that, that's basically it there there's not much for an interior out here just mainly because I didn't really know what to put in here it's just you know it's one of those things y y there is an area out here but yeah what to do what to do there's some little storage on this side also just because I uh, wanted to put something there um, yeah and then you need to go up to the uh, top layer you have to use this block way basically because there is no other way of getting up there um, yeah on here you just got a bit of a view of the mechanical systems out there and the automatic pooping out stone shorter thing in particular which is on both sides so if you drill through uh, stone basically it will sort it out and just dispose of it very easily yeah and you come up here of course this is uh, the main deck so you can uh, go over here and just hop in your ship and fly away if you want to and by the way uh, from yeah this block on this is all heavy armor so the um, yeah the top deck is quite sturdy basically uh, doo -doo -doo. yeah before we go into the bridge we need uh, I'll take you guys to the back because oh yeah that <laughs> now I remember what I did with the, the last timer yeah you've got these uh, solar panels and oxygen farms here just to give a bit of production here but basically this pad out here it's uh, a kind of a welding station and uh, what I did with the last timer is I basically told it to turn off and turn on these when you press this button either with uh, together with the, all the welders down there so basically it's telling you now don't walk over there it will kill you and right now it's safe so right now these, these welders are off and uh, yeah you just can walk over there or land your ship or anything and yeah well then you need to weld something really quick you just turn on this thing it will weld whatever is on there and then you can uh, yeah basically turn it off again I don't know it's it's, it's that little little thing which make it kind of cool you know but now let's go to the bridge shall we if I don't get stuck on the bloody antenna that is well in here we've got a little bit more storage as well I didn't really know again what to put in here so I just thought you know what storage always awesome and then we come up to the bridge we've got some, a few command centers or stations down here you go underneath this little tunnel bridge thingy -a you've got another one there and go up and loads more basically <laughs> yeah so my idea with these was uh, these three they could potentially just be watching over the landing deck and uh, yeah correcting or controlling when and who lands and who takes off basically 
and then you've got the pilot and the co-pilot of this thing and well I actually only set up the stuff here in the co of, uh, in the pilot and uh, yeah of course you've got your opening and closing of the, the front thing over there number nine if I remember correctly yeah this uh, turns on and off the connectors here at the back so if you don't want them to immediately poop out every single bit, bit of stone uh, they collect then you just can turn them off basically to uh, if you for some reason need gravel because of course uh, gravity generators and all that stuff they take gravel so you sometimes you need that stuff um, and then number one that basically is where the magic happens so if you press number one you can see uh, these landing gears come down they will go down and lock the base uh, yeah the j just the thing basically and uh, they turn just a bit faster I think than the actual arm bit does so they just stand up like that and now it will lock and at the same time it will start drilling and go down with the arm this takes a while because <laughs> I haven't really set up the timing correctly apparently still it's kinda hard to tweak them inside the thing but as you can see now they uh, yeah, start drilling stuff and the connectors already are starting to spit out the stone which is really cool that's exactly what they meant to do but at this speed um, yeah they're just going down really slow just to make sure nothing will break nothing gets damaged actually that's why those uh, gyroscopes around there they're just set to override and basically they kill every single wobble in the thing which is really cool because uh, yeah it just doesn't damage itself when it's drilling um, but for now we can actually simulate that it's done with uh, drilling so I think we need this one yeah okay so if we now trigger this thing it basically uh, will um, yeah continue drilling for three and a half minutes because that's roughly how long it takes for it to com go down completely and go come up again and basically uh, yeah now it will come up out of its hole and uh, just reverse the process basically and that's uh, yeah about what this thing does it's actually a pretty cool uh, ship in my opinion it works just like the raven does this thing works too and I'm just amazed by the fact that I managed to do this you know I like this this kind of uh, this part of space engineers building your own mechanical stuff in the game to get something done basically I, d I haven't done that in quite a while so it was quite an uh, adventure to say at least to make this thing especially uh, because Space Engineers has this annoying bug that somehow if you de delete some blocks above the suspension and it doesn't do it all the time but sometimes uh, when you do then all the wheels just come off and it actually happened in the, in the stream once and then just this whole thing plops down to the to earth basically and it's just freaking annoying because you have to reload and all that stuff and some work may be lost you know and because I of course did not leave it and do its own thing it will now just stay there for like three and a half minutes let's actually not do that so timer and trigger now so as you can see I just fucked it up god damn it This is what's wrong. God damn it. Okay. I don't really know what happened there. But if you just leave it go and, and just let it do what it's supposed to do, then I assure you it will work. 
and not blow up like this. Oh wow, what a fail. But yeah, that's also a good example of what might happen if you press the wrong buttons at the wrong time. So guys, don't do that. It's it's not handy. It's not handy. Um Yeah. You know what? I thought maybe driving this thing in the end, but as you can see it's not gonna work anymore. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh if you want let me know then I'll put this thing on the workshop it's not like the most useful thing in the world just because of the fact that it's so big and I press the bong buttons again god damn it but um, yeah basically if you, uh, you if you enjoyed hit that like button hit subscribe and then I'll see you guys in the next video my name is BRP and I'm out peace God damn it, you stupid little piece of shit. Why do you always break when I try to do something?